We got two types of grips that Rob was talking about. We got a forehand grip and a backhand grip. For me particularly, I used to play ping pong. So my forehand grip is up tight, up top, close to the, to, close actually to the paddle. A lot of people like uh, Seth talked about, I'm sorry, that Rob talked about is the different types of continental grips or the western grip. Some like to hold their grip down here. That's your preference for a forehand. For me, a backhand is literally, what I like to do is actually grab handlebars, if you will. So I'll take that same grip here and apply it to my racket and that's my backhand. And what you'll notice on my backhand is my thumb, I don't know if you can see that up close, my thumb actually controls the paddle. When we went through a class earlier, we talked about the different types of, of strike zones and different types of grips, but those are the two types of basic grips that we like to talk about. These chairs here is either, I like to grip, a lot of people see these rims here and they grip the rim. When you see me actually play, I will actually grip the rim with my non-hitting hand. I grip the whole chair. I will grip the chair, I'm sorry, the rim and the wheel that allows me to get full control of that, that chair or that wheel when I'm making a turn. What about the grip when you're holding your paddle? Here, you're gonna wear this paddle out. Okay, so this be ready if you're playing from a wheelchair position because I actually use my thumb, paddle, and grip to hold the chair. Now I have full control of this chair, but it's only just for a moment to where I can hold the chair and make a, make a move or be mobile and to get back into position. You're gonna, you're gonna see all of that stuff a little bit later. So we have these things here are ball stoppers, meaning if a ball comes onto the court or if the ball rolls out, it's gonna stop the ball. The reason why that is is because we don't want folks to, when they're actually in play mode, injure their ankle, roll, and bad things happen. So respect the call, if you will. Um, and the safety is the biggest thing. You know, we want everyone to be safe, enjoy themselves, but we gotta make sure that we warm up, we watch the obstacles, we talk about the right uh, grip positions and things on that nature. So in the next chapter, you're gonna actually hear us talk about how to play. We're gonna start you off real slow. We're gonna talk about a dink. The, uh, some people call it the third shot drop. Others call it the long dink. So we'll get into that. So we'll see you guys on the court. We just finished up our safety brief and now we're gonna start playing.